Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and I'm stoked to bring a couple of these things to you today. Um, so some really cool stuff. So I got uh, some boxes in the mail uh, from some people. So we got um, one from Jerome Pierce and I got... Uh, just some cool stuff some cool lucy's i'm just gonna we'll look at these actually in the second half some oddballs some little little beat up vans and stuff um just some interesting die casts so uh really cool we'll look at more of those in the in this next segment here i'll show you everything that was in the box um it wasn't like a, a huge amount of stuff so we'll get through it all um but yeah thank you uh jerome for sending that little care package um and then i got um, a box in the mail. This was actually a couple weeks ago from Travis. Uh, you got Heavy Metal 164 slash Optical Ruse. You guys probably know him on Instagram and maybe he doesn't really make videos anymore, so sadly. But um, <clears throat> anywho and how, uh, I he always, every once in a while, he wants to clear a couple of things out of his collection and he asked me, and I didn't have a bunch of disposable income at the time, but I was able to buy one piece off of him, and that was this Tomica Limited Vintage right here. Uh, this is a, what year is this? Does it say? I don't know, 89 Nissan Skyline GTS. Pretty cool. Uh, so Tomica Limited Vintage, and then he also just threw in this little lifted custom uh, Chevy S10. So that's pretty cool too. So we'll take a look, of course, at these two items <clears throat> in the next segment. And then um, I got, this is definitely without a doubt the highlight of the week. If you follow my Instagram, you already know I got this. <clears throat> it is from License Premium Release 3. It is the Pontiac Firebird. And I did not have this. I have the raw of this but I did not have this ultra red and believe it or not I'm missing one more Trans Am ultra red and that's uh, the Walmart exclusive one um, which was from what release 5 premium release 5 before they started giving years in front of the releases but anyway this was an RA okay well not entirely random but definitely an extreme act of kindness uh, from Michael Newland Jr. Uh, just a cool dude, man. Thank you so much. Um, he does a couple of cool things for the hobby. Uh, he uh, basically is an admin, I know for sure. He might have even created it. The Hot Wheels Collectors um, Facebook group, which is a fantastic Facebook group uh, for for Hot Wheels Collectors. Did I say Hot Wheels Collectors? Auto World Collectors. Auto World Collectors. Uh, so yeah, Auto World Collectors uh, Facebook group. Um, he's an admin on there for sure. I don't know if he runs it or if he started it or not. But anyway, uh, he's that and he does a Toy Rewind podcast, which is also pretty neat. Uh, where they think they pretty much talk about vintage toys uh, and stuff like that from their childhood and uh just really really cool so really really nice dude all around he is an auto world geek like me um i'm sure his collection is more complete than mine actually uh but he had two of these and he just gave me one which is absolute insanity um <clears throat> This does not come up very often. You may just think, oh, that's a basic Ultra Red Firebird. You know, I've probably seen those on eBay and, and whatnot. Well, yeah, you may have, but you probably saw the ones from um, premium, or License Premium Release 2, which is a much easier car to find. Still a difficult one than this one. This is very difficult. So I have one car left in this series I need to complete the series, and that is, uh, what year is it? The uh, 66 Chevy Chevelle SS396. I need that ultra red. Um, it is on a card like this with the clamshell, and uh, there was two, there's two releases again that look pretty similar. Um, it is the Hemmings Motors one. So, anywho, I'm looking out for that, and then I will have that that set complete. Uh, another piece of mail is this guy. I got a really cool 164 scale Shuko uh, Ren Sport Transporter, uh, Ren Transporter Porsche. I debated back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. There's two versions of this out, out there. There's this one with the classic kind of like Porsche logo and stuff, and then uh, font. And then there is a Martini Racing one. 
I almost bought both. Kind of think I should have bought both now that I got this one. The Martini Racing one, I just have more cars that are appropriate from Shuko that go with it because they did release a bunch of Martini Porsches. Um, but this one, it's just got that classic red, white, I don't know, look to it. It looks so fantastic. We're going to open up this box and check this out um, in the next segment. And then I found some stuff at a store, actually. Um, new mystery models. <clears throat> Uh, I think they're new. It says Series 3. I think it's 2021 Series 3. I got the number 2 and the number 1 car. I, one of these is a Skyline. The other one is a DeLorean, um, I believe. So, we will open these. I don't even know what the deco looks like, to be honest. Um, especially on that Skyline. And they don't put they don't put the list of the cars on the actual back of the packaging anymore they used to you can still figure out which one it is by the number right there whatever i'll look at it close up in the, in the next segment uh but anyway that was cool and then i found this brand new team transport set and let me say this right off the bat this is killer this is super cool uh mm. That is a good looking premium Hot Wheels right there, that Corvette. Um, these are cool too, uh, the Supra and then the uh, the uh, Volkswagen IDR. <clears throat> Both pretty neat, but this is definitely uh, the highlight of the set to me. I can't wait for the Mini GT one of this to come out because it'd be a nice comparison. Uh, I'm sure you know. Greenlight will probably come up with something similar as well. Who knows? All right. So anyway, a uh, really good week. This is definitely the highlight because, you know, this is years in the making, basically, of me trying to check this one off the list. And not, and it, they just don't come up on eBay very often at all. And if they do, um, you know, I probably missed them or whatever. They were asking just way too much that I could afford. So thank you so much, bud. Uh, for this just just fantastic and then this thing is super cool too so these two items right here that's probably the most excited i'm going to be here today is opening up these two all right so thank you guys uh very much let's uh, stay tuned let's go ahead and let's dig into this stuff all right folks so let's start with this beautiful 1976 firebird trans am um, like I said, this is from License Premium Release 3. It is a tough release to complete from an Ultra Red standpoint. Uh, it's an interesting release, too, because they're, the regular cars are actually pretty difficult to get a hold of as well. And the Raws, there's some shenanigans going on with the Raws. There was a lot more Raws made than 10 of each one, I guess, apparently. I don't know the actual numbers that have been found on each one, but apparently there was some factory shenanigans and some eBay stuff that went on. Anyway, I have one, a, a raw. I have a raw of this, and it's right here. So there it is. And there's that. So really, really cool. I opened this up on the channel. I actually have two Trans Am raws uh, from different releases. And this is one of them. So really cool really really cool this is this is a sweet piece even though there may be more than 10 of these out there big deal whatever it's a cool piece and um here is the i think this is the version a i pull these out and then i forget what order i pulled them out in and then whoops i don't remember uh doesn't really make a difference though version a or version b and then the other one's the other one <clears throat> go to awcollector.com and uh, you can find out and take a look at this whole release but uh, here you go so you got one in this uh almost like a bronzish whatever brownish i think it's called firethorn red is technically i think the flavor and then this one in white so pretty cool there and then we get um actually i'm just guaranteed this is version i don't know anyhow anyway i don't know we're gonna go now get into this guy here <clears throat> so <clears throat> reluctantly you know i'm gonna open it i have to open it it's got to go on display this is just a really tough to find piece and uh, i mean he knows i'm gonna open the thing he knows it's gonna stay in my collection and uh 
I just really appreciate him for sending this to me. It's just, it's absolutely insane. Even if, I mean, I don't know. He just, uh, what a nice guy. Yeah, really cool to get something from him. He's just a really cool dude. All right, so, and this is a, just a piece that's just really, really, really hard to get. Okay. Comes in an acrylic case, if you guys aren't familiar with the... Uh, <clears throat> License premium line. And this thing is just beautiful. So cool. So the Ultra Red is just great color. Um, these older releases, especially for some reason, I think looked a little bit better. I'm going to adjust the camera here. <coughs> A little bit of orange peel in the paint. That's pretty normal. So, <clears throat> I've been curious. Um, I got the Ultra Red now. From This is from the release before it. And how easy is it to tell the difference between the two? Actually, pretty easy. See the white bird versus the white with the gold outline. And none of them have white in the logo. So that is the white accent that were on Ultra Reds back in the day. You had to get, you, it came with a white accent. This one got the white bird. This one got the white just on the inside bird outlined in gold. And that looks great. Uh, from a hue perspective, this one's a little bit deeper in color than the other. That's probably pretty random. Um, and then the other thing is the Translam logo. This has got a white one here, car and driver license plate, and then this one has a gold one with uh, the uh, Hemmings Muscle uh, logo. So I am just stoked to have this. I really, really am. And uh, it's a really good one, too. There's no issues with it. It doesn't seem to be really flawed in any way. So that is just absolutely fantastic. so cool i'm not even going to open the hood because i just don't want to but now i've got an actual complete uh set of these cars at least from this release we've got the raw the red the a the b even though we don't know which one is which um <clears throat> but yeah that's some homework for you go to autoworldcollector.com you can look at all the transams if you want to try to get them all and i think i'm just missing one and that's it i'm missing one there see for release five and i hope i'd find it eventually because it'd be really cool to go through that series but for release five uh with the walmart exclusive they had a b c's and d's for that release as well it's an ah uh, it's the weirdest release from auto world and uh there's actually three different ultra red transam in, in that release and I have uh, two of the three. <clears throat> but very cool. Thanks again, Michael. I really appreciate it. All right. Next up, let's take a peek at this guy. We got the Ren Transporter Porsche. Porsche from Shuko. So it comes in a, I guess what they call, what they're calling like a paper box edition. I think this originally was supposed to come out as resin and be a lot more limited. Uh, so there's a box around a box and then it just comes right out. Um, it was, or I pulled this out already to take a quick picture of it that I did post to my Instagram. <clears throat> and it did come, it was wrapped in this on the inside. Now, I don't know if that's something that the seller added or if that actually just comes like that. I'm not sure, but this thing is super cool. Oh, it's got my fingerprints all over it already just from playing with it for a little bit. So you got inserted details for the headlights. Um, nice detail up there for that Mercedes logo and all that. Uh, rubber tires, dualies in the back. Um, it has a plastic base. It's screwed together. Even with a plastic base, though, this thing is heavy. It rolls really well. And the rear of it does open, um, <clears throat> although it is slightly difficult to get open with just your hands. But with a guitar pick, works pretty good. 
and there's definitely room for a vehicle. This is why I thought I, maybe I should have got the Martini logo because I got some of these Porsches and I've got, uh, you know, there's been a couple of Porsches. But I will say, although you can fit a car in here, sort of, there is a bit of an issue because it isn't wide enough for most, most cars. I could stick this in here. <clears throat> And I suppose if you kind of like put it in, it doesn't have working ramps or anything either, but if you put it in like sideways and then set it down in there, I think that's, maybe that's intentional so it doesn't move around because it can only move, it can't move up to like the next spot. It's kind of stuck between these two kind of pillars in here. And maybe that is intentional. It's kind of cool. I could probably do some cool shots of, you know, light coming through here and the car inside. Um, so that's really neat. Uh, now we got to get that out of there though. And of course that's going to be a slight challenge. There it is. So very, very cool. I had to get an example of this. It's not something I'll get every version of, but I definitely had to get an example of this Shuko, um, Ren transporter because it's a Shuko, and I'd like a, an example of every Shuko tooling. I really like Shuko. I think they do a great job. So they don't come up with a ton of stuff, but the stuff they do come out with is pretty fantastic, and I and I do quite like this. So very very awesome. All right, <clears throat> we got to keep her moving. What do we look at next? Well, we'll look uh, at this real quick. This is a Tomica Limited Vintage Neo. It's a four door Skyline. GTS Type M, and I think it's from like the Japanese, what was it, Japanese nostalgic car or something. I don't, there's some series from Tomica Limited Vintage, so these don't have like a typical TLVN number. I think they, this came in a larger box actually. This was like the inside of what was in a larger box, I believe. And this is a really cool uh, Skyline R32. I think it's an R32, right? Yeah four-door R32 really cool yeah R32 <clears throat> so typical stuff you would expect from a Tomica limited vintage we've got suspension we've got uh, side mirrors and stuff like that actually we didn't have to glue them on which is great this one is right hand drive and also uh, we get inserted details for the headlights, some detailed taillights, and these actually look really cool. It's kind of hard to see through the tinted taillight, but there is actual like circular lights and so underneath that tinted part, which is a very cool touch. And it's just a nice, nice little version of this car. So I quite like it. And in silver, looks fantastic. It's got a metallic paint job, so it's less likely to suffer from paint rash, in, in my experience. Uh, later on in life, so that's good. You kind of protect it against that, and uh, so that, I quite like that. So pretty awesome. Definitely digging this little guy. So very cool. Thank you, Travis. And then of course he sent me this lifted uh, S10. Yeah, Chevy S10 casting from Greenlight. Pretty interesting little casting. It seems to be very narrow for how long it is. I don't know if that's proportionate or not, but it doesn't seem like it to me. And maybe it's exacerbated by the fact that they lifted it up. You don't normally see S10s lifted, right? It's more of like the mini truck. This one's an extended cab, though. Uh, this, is, I believe, is from Black Bandit series, just judging by that, uh, by the color or whatever here. Yeah, oh yeah, Black Bandit right there. And, yeah, it's kind of cool. That was pretty cool. Thanks, man. And then, uh, let's see. What should we do next? Let's do our Hot Wheels, uh, and then we'll get to that box from Jerome. Um, we'll just take a quick look through all the stuff there. So we got, we'll start with number two car. Hot Wheels Mr. Pop. Speak or what? And that is the Skyline. Kind of cool. Decent livery. It's got a number two on it. I like this casting, anyhow. Um, comes with a sticker. The number three is the Series 3. There's your Hotlands logo sticker. Uh, 
That looks pretty good. Not bad. <clears throat> and then the number one car. I didn't get the number three. I forgot what it was, but I wasn't excited about it. I think, oh, Super Volt was the number three. And I think the rest of the cars were um, fantasy models. Space Radar. Pretty goofy and far out DeLorean. But I like the DeLorean. Who doesn't like the DeLorean? Anybody who is my age probably enjoys the DeLorean because of Back to the Future. Um, but yeah, DMC DeLorean. And there's your sticker. It's wacky graphic. It, it's green windows, but it's still cool. So, had to have it. Had to pick it up. Glad to find it for a buck. I only, I think I was the first person to these, and there was only, like, you know, they come in, like, 48 car cases almost, like, with two 24-count mystery model cases inside of a bigger box. I believe I was the first person to them, and there was one of each of these in all 48 cars. So, there's that for you. And then, uh, next is the Team Transport. So, we have... The GR Supra, which I guess we'll take a look at that one first. Of course, three uh, pairs in this wave. This one is number 37 for Team Transport. It's crazy they've come up with that many. What is the... Yeah, that's the, that's the largest number in this set of three, so... Man, really? 37? I think I have them all. I mean, I don't have the Supreme one. Oh, you know what? I think I am missing, actually, two others that I didn't pick up. And I probably could snag them at Target because I think they're still sitting there. They're not very popular. I think one was, like, the 32 Ford one. And then the other one was maybe the BMW one that's, like, red. I think so. Anyway, I don't know. But here you go. As usual, I'm not super interested in this truck. Um, it's a cool one, though, because it is the ramp truck that goes down. And so it articulates. So... Of course, the uh, delivery matches the car. And here's your GR Supra casting. Graphics look pretty decent. I mean, all in all, this isn't super exciting to me, but uh, it's pretty cool nonetheless. I love these wheels, these newer real riders. I think they look great on quite... They put them on a lot of cars, and that's fine because they, they look great on a lot of cars, so... That's that, and then the next one we'll look at. I guess I'm saving the best for last. Here's the uh, Volkswagen ID <coughs> R. Get it out, and we get a ramp truck with this one too. Same. Uh, what is it? The arrow lift. Yeah. Same one. This thing's stuck. What is going on here? Yeah. Dude, that thing is literally stuck in there. So we've seen this once before. What series was it in? Thrill Climbers, maybe? It's an odd little car, but it is pretty cool. So, digging that. Yeah. Kind of nice, I guess, because it doesn't move. It just gets... It gets stuck right there. The colors are nice. The colors are cool. They look cool together. And then, of course, the highlight is this guy right here. Uh, this looks sick. This C8R. I don't care about the truck, obviously. The car, though, is definitely one <coughs> to impress me. Ooh. Basic. Basic looks pretty good too. That is pretty cool, man. So again, those wheels, but they look great. Of course, we got that pixelation from the full Deco Hot Wheels, but uh, still looks pretty decent. I just think that looks mean with those wheels. And the main line looks really good, too. And look how sharp the graphics are on the main line <laughs> in comparison. 
I don't know, guys. I do like the way that they can do full deco, but would it be better if they just did a four-sided tampo? I don't know. I know there's a lot more they can do with this method. I get it. But this looks so much sharper. Right? Because it's more like screen printed almost. Still really cool looks good I, I love it i think it's awesome i can't wait to get the uh, mini gt um of this car i think that's just going to be absolutely fantastic so and the trucks you know the truck's the truck it's cool whatever um so you could tell there's a 164 scale hauler at least we think it's 164 scale of course it does fit two cars okay so there's that and then here's your one car ramp maybe they are not nah, they're not they're not going to be they're not really close to 164 scale is this truck i don't know you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below just from a width standpoint i get it this one's like a full-size boss um but whatever this thing is super cool all right it's not cheap though i will tell you that all right, lastly, I got a box in the mail from a gentleman by the name of Jerome uh, Pierce, who I believe also lives in Wisconsin. He sent me, it looks like, three customs. He sent these in a box, and I don't know what happened, but it's possible, I don't know, you just didn't pack them well or something happened, but they were just banging against each other in this box when I got it. Um, so he looks like he did some custom Datsuns. We got a Brie, Brie Datsun. 46 with some uh it's, it looks like it's painted it's got some decals on it. it looks pretty cool the wheels are pretty cool so that's pretty neat there it is glued together base is painted uh, we got one where he chopped the top on it that is pretty cool too wheels are neat Let's see if we got chips in the paint and stuff which is unfortunate i don't know if maybe they were chipped before he sent them to me he just sent them to me to have some fun with i'm not really sure what the what the entire motivation is but i'm sure he'll let me know after watching this video and then uh, this is kind of hand painted black on the top again we got chips and stuff in it because she rattled around quite a bit in that box so there was that um and then he got me some weird vans some neat ones you guys know i'm a fan of vans right so some interesting ones and i don't think i have any of these in my collection this emergency ambulance. These are just weird made in China things. This one actually rolls. Ambulance. Same casting here, but an army one. This one's obviously seen some better days, but I think you could probably breathe on these things when you were a kid and they would break. Um, and then this one, it's like the same sort of idea here. That's oh, a different casting. And this one's emergency, and it's got the bubble window. Kind of neat. So there's that. And then uh, this one's a Ford van, I believe. And what brand is this? I think it's just made in Thailand. Um, kind of like a Yat Ming-ish kind of thing. I just always think of that when I see these wheels. This is a van. Five-speed, four-wheel drive. What does it say in there? International tournament? Is there a van tournament? This one's pretty cool, though. I like the graphic on it. <clears throat> And then this one is a, I think, Z Toys, Zymlex, Zilmex, Zylmex, Wheaties, Hong Kong. Weird die cast company. This thing's got a lot of weight to it, though. It is metal base, metal body, huge windows on the side. Kind of a weird little fantasy casting. Definitely, definitely a neat piece. These are stickers, not decals. And uh, that's kind of a cool piece right there. I'm digging that one. And then, let's see here. He got me this little tiny Porsche. I don't even know what this is. It's not, it says made in China. I know it's not a, like, micro machine. Or anyway, I don't think it is. And, oh, weird. Is it two-piece wheels? Yeah, it had, like, rubber tires. One of the tires is falling off the back. This is like a micro pullback, maybe? I don't know. Weird. And then uh, he also got me this. 
vet van. This is a cool old black wall. Uh, this is a high raker too. So you can do that. Which is kind of cool. Hong Kong base vet van. This is a cool one. I did not have a good example of this, so that is really neat to get. And then uh, lastly, I believe lastly here, we've got a Tomica Mazda Savannah GT. This thing is really cool. This one's got suspension. It's an older Tomica. Opening doors. And very, very, very cool. All right. That is going to be it for this one, guys. Um, again, obvious highlight of the day is that Trans Am right there. Super stoked to get it in my, my uh, collection. And then, of course, this really cool and large Porsche hauler. All right. Another good week in the books, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, have yourself a great day. We'll see you in the next one.